Hello everyone, welcome back to the Age of Empires 4 commentary. I am Beyond and today we have an absolute banger for you today. In the bottom side of the map, in the blue, as the Chinese, we have Marine Lord. One of the best, if not considered the best player in the game at the current moment. It always switches back between him and Beastie. But he currently is absolutely slaying the game in this tournament, which is the EGC Elite Classic. The logo is in the bottom corner, and the link is in the description. And up top, we have MYI Zerton in the green as the Holy Roman Empire. Now, Zerton's been playing also very, very well in this tournament, so this is going to be an absolute great game. We've been seeing a lot of Chinese in this tournament because they are just so, so strong. I would probably rank them as like the third strongest uh, civilization. I will say a little unfortunate there from really Lord taking out those straggler trees, so if he ever needs some quick wood in a pinch, he's not going to be able to have those, but I don't think he really cares. And there's a little bit of a straggler there. He can get click 90 wood from there, so it's not all gone. Um, but yeah, they are really, really strong at the current moment. Holy Roman Empire are just solidly average. They're like really good. Um, not, not like too overtuned, kind of like the Rus and the Malians. Um, but not also not, they're not in the same like that tier. I think those top three are probably the best in this tournament at the current moment. Um, but they're not, they're not at the bottom of the pack either, which is why they get chosen a lot. They're also pretty good into the... Chinese as the Chinese like to do the the Zuganu rush not like rush but like 2 TC into mass Zuganu or 1 TC all in uh, we saw that legendary game I actually got the pleasure of casting it between Marine Lord and Puppy Paw where Marine Lord held off um, for about I think like 20 minutes of just Zuganu all in eventually taking over the game with those mana arms and those formation tactics which makes them sprint across the map um, so this should be a good one. The win rate for the Chinese across all ranks, uh, mix up a little bit this time, um, is 46% over about 15,000 games. So they're slightly not favored, but you know that's kind of skewed because the Holy Roman Empire are a little bit easier to pull off than the Chinese. And then in Conqueror and above, China has a 49 or 48.6% win rate across 430 games. So still slightly uh, HRE favored. I think that's just because of how they're just, they're very, very good. And some good Akin Chapel placements can really make that all in if you need to happen. Or they're pretty good off of 2TC as well. One of the only ones they can actually keep up with a China boom at the same time. Now, as we can see, this whole, this Akin Chapel is placed near the stone which would make you assume that this is going to be going for an early second TC, but we you never know. We don't we won't know for sure. Um, did I forget to do this again? Oh my goodness! I, I thought I clicked it for sure this time. Ugh, one day. I'm sorry, guys, but as you can see, predictions are correct on that one. If you see an Arcane Chapel, especially in the pros, and you're going for that second TC, you see a lot of times that they they put it over here instead of by the gold. Um, it just gets you that second TC a little bit faster, which then kicks up your um, resources up the entire game just because of that. We have the Imperial Academy going down. Interesting to see where we're going to place the Barbican. It's always a fun little game uh, that you can play early on in this in any China matchup. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw it up here to protect the berries and the gold. We might see it over here. Uh, probably a little bit too close to the TC. Uh, we could see it over here on this deer pack over here because the Chinese do need a lot of food early. It's one of their weaknesses. How did Marine Lord do with the sheep? We have a, we have a decent amount going over here. Does he have another scout on the map? He does not. Um, and we don't have... We I think we have a good amount. We already had one drop off. I can't really see around that, but I could alt around, but I don't want to mess with the camera settings. So yeah, um, at this point, let's see. Can I click on one? I, I wish you could just like click on them the whole time. But sheep uh, and food resources definitely play a major role. It looks like the TC is going to be dropped out front for our friend Zertan on that forward deer pack, which is pretty standard. And then this Barbican is actually placed in the spot that I said, none of the spots, because I said over here and over here. It goes right in the middle. Marine Lord, thank you for showing me the ways of where to place this beautiful Barbican. If you did not see another way to place it, um, a video of mine last week. Uh, it's how BC showed the last time where you can Barbican rush. So if you haven't checked 
if you want to see that, um, check it out. And if you also want to like relive some horrible memories of Ranked Ladder, you can also check that out. But in the new season, you cannot place um, these offensive landmarks or defensive. I mean, technically they're defensive, but the way they've been using is offensive. Um, I think within eight tiles of a town center. Um, so it's going to make it so that you can't just can't be completely oppressive with white tower drops, with Barbican drops. Because uh, it's very hard to counter Barbican Rush. I, I mean, you're not going to out build them and unless you're the English your villagers do not kill them quick enough that being said because we're not seeing a Barbican rush we have this lovely town center going out over here so we're going to see if the coveted song dynasty there it is clicks over um, can keep up um, per usual we go into this the song dynasty is produces villagers at 15 seconds and the Holy Roman Empire produces them at 20 seconds that's the standard so you'll we're going to be seeing um, who can kind of take this out, a 2TC Holy Roman Empire or a soon-to-be 2TC Song Dynasty, which, you know, I'm going to be favoring, and it's also Marine Lord, so I'm going to be giving the nod to the Chinese, uh, especially because we're not going to see any early shenanigans, which usually, if you leave the China uh, Chinese alone and you're not like the Rus or the Malians or something kind of a little bit crazy, uh, you're going to have a rough time. Um, but we'll see. We see some men at arms coming out onto the map early on for Zerton, which means he's going to be able to get some nice map control and pressure. Um, so we'll see what they can do on the backhand side. There goes a TC on this deer pack over here. Kind of expected because to secure that second source of food. Um, as the Chinese, that's what they struggle with the absolute most. And he has not even used his bears yet because he got a good amount of sheep as well, which is really, really nice for him. Six fresh ones standing there waiting. And yeah, that was a, that was a fresh drop off from that scout over here. Now we have the one man at arm, but um, Marine Lord is expecting this. He is very very good at scouting back and forth, as you can see. He scouted the forward barracks. He scouted the men at arms coming around, and there was the other one, just kind of looking for looking for pretty much anything. We have a little bit of a, a wolf attack here. Two HP, so it's going to take a while for them to do anything. The men at arms are kind of meeting out over here by this relic, just kind of seeing what's happening, what's going on. Um, they really can't, at this point in the game, they really can't dive town centers or barbicans. Uh, barbicans obviously have that kind of that, ooh, we have even more men at arms coming out. So it looks like we're going to see a little something, a little something come out of our friend Zertan over here. Um... But yeah, um, they can't really dive TCs all that much, and they're also incredibly slow without those military tactics, that extra, that extra speed that they get. Um, yeah, they don't look too, they don't look too scary early on. I'm gonna be honest with you. I do like how they did that, and we see the classic Shuganu coming out, the plus one, which is unreal for Shuganu. Um, I have to explain this in so many videos, but you know what? There's There could be new people here. Um, and also, if you're new and you made it this far, please do like and subscribe. Um, I haven't mentioned that this whole time, so I should get credit for some, at least a little bit of something for that. I didn't ask at the beginning, besides a little thing on the pop-up on the screen. So if you are enjoying it and you've made it this far, I think it's only as a fair transaction that you, that you subscribe for the content. And obviously, if you don't want to, that's totally okay as well. <laughs> but we do have the Shuganu. And the reason why they're so important for these upgrades is they shoot three bolts at a time, like kind of rapid fire. So every plus one does one more damage on that shot. So it's a net of three extra damage. And then on top of that, it's also super, super important to get the plus one armor as the opponent to them because every it's the same it's the inverse so every shot that comes in it's reduced by three damage instead of just the one so super super important there we do see marine lord with the cheeky walls around these relics uh he is so so good at doing this and just stopping his opponent from getting those three relics which is so important for the regnant's cathedral we have this one back here with there's no way they're getting if he can stop this one and this one he should be in a good spot uh, and we do see some attack over here from the man at arms. They're not going to be do, able to do anything into 15, now 16, going to be soon to be 20 Shuganu. Um, I will say Zerton, this is going to be rough. You don't want you don't want this to be happening. Uh, you want to keep this ball um, in a good spot as much as you can. This ball of man at arms back here until you can really attack uh, or more use them as defense. Um, especially if you're going to be going that fast castle, which is that recognition being dropped down. 
Um, you're in no rush to... You're not going to end anything. And if they had this many Shugunu on the map, they're not going to do anything to you either. And now Marine Lord has up to 22. So we might be seeing a nice little Shugunu all in. We'll see what he can do about it. As you can see, there goes the wall up on the backhand side. The Shugunu doing... How did I miss 10 villagers going down? Am I... Oh my goodness. 10 villagers went down? Did Zerton just not realize? Oh my goodness. That is absolutely horrendous. A marine Lord gave me absolute value and a half. I mean, I guess I didn't realize because I didn't think that... I wish you could see kill counters in these bad boys. They must have infinite. Um, so that's where the other... Yeah, because 22 are over here. So there's only like... There's only a small trio, so let's see what these guys can do, okay? So now we're not going to miss this harassment over here. And there they go. Um, it looks like... Yeah, you don't want that. They actually rip apart villagers. So it looks like the villagers tried to take down the Shugunu mass that was over here, and they suffered heavy casualties because of it. Uh, these Shugunu got tons and tons of value. It's absolutely insane. And now we have the whole army collapsing on these men-at-arms, which are going to get absolutely ripped through. And Marine Lord is sitting in an incredible position. 33 Shugunu has undisturbed Song Dynasty in the backhand side. We have some unfortunate lads. Get to work. Ladies and gentlemen, get your move on. There we go. They're inbound. I will say, it looks like this wall was taken out. But who has the relic? The relic is... Where is it being stored? There's no relics over here. There's no relics over here. So who, who took this one? Um, it looks like this relic is safe and sound over here. The Shukunu Mass is going to be able to do a lot, a lot of damage. There's only two knights on the field. And there's 40 Shugunu for Marine Lord at the current moment. Which is absolutely insane. Do we have any... Okay, so Marine Lord doesn't have anyone that can move it. So I'm assuming that Zertan was the one that stole that guy over there. Um, and able to bring it back. Um, I don't see Zertron actually having anything, though. We have more Shugunu going in the back. We have Shugunu coming in the front. There's the first relic dropped down in that tower. But unfortunately for Zertron, no one's over to it. And they're not going to be able to get to it in time. Just goes down. And oh, no. These villagers are not able to get into this at all. The micro, they're absolutely getting slaughtered to go in. But the damage has been done. We have... We have an absolute slaughter going on over here. This is what happened. This is what I missed before. It's it's absolute chaos around the map at the current moment. Marine Lord doing unreal. And this is how quickly and how kind of how busted the Shugunu actually are. They're able to actually cut through anything. Guys, if you want to climb in this last week of season ranked, just just do this. Just get, get China down, locked down, and you can just do this as well. This is absolutely insane. I will say the Knights are able to finally clean up these over here. But now Marine Lord has a 30 villager lead. Zerton doing his absolute best. Finally getting that range defense plus one. These Yuganu though are just moving throughout the cabin. They are just an absolute death ball squad. 25 villager kills. And you can see how fast they kill villagers on the backhand side. So if you're looking for a harassive, don't bother with the Mongols. Don't bother with the French. Just pick up the Chinese and just go master your canoe and they can do everything that a horse can um, and, and more. So, you know, it works out. The Knights are going to be they're going to be dealing with this. OK, but there's only eight of them. Um, and there's 42 Zhuganu on the map at the current moment. And Marine Lord's able to expand out. We see Marine Lord is now going to the astronomical clock tower behind this. Um, we have some forward houses out here just for just for funsies. It looks like Marine Lord is aware that these knights are roaming the streets and he is put up a nice safe wall. We have more Shugunu looking to dive as well. Um, no one went down this time. So Zertan is aware of what's happening. And yeah, these Shugunu are just doing so much work. We have the spearmen just running around to chase down the knights we have no archers on the backhand side as well zerton doing his absolute best we do have some combat combat kills back here this knight's getting trying to get all this stuff back just go after these guys there you go we have three kills so far and there we go the knight's doing its be absolute best it can and marine lord's moving its whole mass backwards four kills which is this is actually pretty nice harass this knight's getting incredible value another one goes down can you get one more one more 
Oh no, he turned in about face. But five villager kills, five for one for one night. You'll take that all day of the week. It looks like the Jugany were able to get one more villager kill uh, as they finally go down over here. So the knights are actually doing pretty good into this. The only issue is that Marine Lord is getting plus two um, as we speak, getting the upgrades to these veteran Shuganu and veteran Spearmen. And that's going to be a huge issue for Zerton to deal with. And this Zhuganu mass is just, just moving wherever it wants to. And it looks like these spears are able to just completely st stop all six of these knights over here. We have a beautiful farm transition happening over here for Zerton. And as you can see, even though Marine Lord is sitting in a very, very good spot, the HRE are able to keep up somewhat well with the um, Chinese. I will say, if you take away this, if you if you put these back into the game, because um, it just seemed like some unfortunate lack of micro over here for Zerton, just wasn't focused on that at the current moment, lost him so many villagers. Um, but now we're sitting in a very good spot and when the Juganu kind of entered into this area over here and started to dive, uh, let's see, how many relics does he have? It looks like he got, he did secure three, uh, looking to secure the fourth one over here, but these Juganu should be able to stop this from being fully secured. It looks like they will be. The wolf is causing some damage on the backhand side. As we know and come in love, we see that these knights are just trying to bat down and try to get in here, but the Zhugnu, as you can see, they don't do an unreal work into these, but look at this army being formed behind. There's only 11 knights in the map, and there is 37 Zhugnu, there's 17 veteran spears, six crossbowmen, we have palace guards, we have battering rams, this is absolutely a death push coming out from Marine Lord, and I don't think that Zertan can hold this. There's always a chance we will always try to show a chance, but we just don't know. And look at this getting absolutely peppered. I will say, uh, repairs are kind of broken as well, because look at that, just thwarts off an entire Shuganu army and throwing absolute lasers out behind them. An absolute bold move here by Zerton, throwing up a keep. Um, if Marie Lawrence scouts this, he's gonna, he's gonna just move these guys over here, and that will be GG the second he spots this. Doesn't look like he's gonna spot it, but actually, that keep, he's going to go around the keep, which is also super unfortunate for Zerton. He's going to lose this relic, it looks like, because these, with these additional of these veteran spearmen with the Molotov cocktails, this is going to be going down ASAP Rocky, and we have more villagers getting absolutely skewered. The veteran spearmen are able to absolutely cook this, and it looks like these villagers are going to be... Nope, they're going to be, they're going to be left for another day. They're allowed to leave. There we go. Are they going to, they going to do it? No, they're not. But I will say these villagers are safe and sound. Lazy, though. You just built everything. Now you just do is collect. Not wanting to do that. And there we go. The ram is coming in. Ooh, a very nice mango shot. It's looking like this mango is going to have to save the day if it can. But now everyone's just running at it. And this town center is not able to actually defend this mangonel. So the knights are going to have to be sacrificed into spearmen, which is not what you want to see. This mangonel is getting very, very good value. And I will say, once these spearmen go down, it's looking like this, with these repairs and this tower and this mango, Zerton's going to be able to at least repel this push for now. But these Shuganu are, honestly, they can be lost pretty easily. The army in the backhand side is where Marino is spending a lot of his money at the current moment. These are almost like nice to have at this point. And I will say it's incredibly unfortunate for Marine Lord, uh, for Zerton that he's this relic has now been dropped, so not getting the value or the money from that. But he's doing fine on gold. Um, it looks like he, this ram will be finally taken down. It might be able to, as its final hurrah, take down this tower. It does, but the Shuganu are just setting up about face. The farm transition has been completely stopped, and it's oh we also have some Shuganu in the backhand side over here. Marine Lord is doing so good with these Shuganu raids. I think that is going to be the title. Um, the power of the Shuganu raid, something like that. I need to get better at titles, so we'll see that. And also, if you've made it this far, let me know what you guys think about the new logo and background of the channel. Um, just got fresh off the presses, so let me know if you if you like it better. The old one was pretty generic, so that we're getting more legit. And we're almost, we're almost at 400 subscribers. We're two away, so if you could help me out, that'd be incredible. Now, Zerton's finally cleaning up the Shuganu Raiders in the backhand side, which is absolutely hysterical. 
That being said, Zerton does have two keeps out in the middle of the map and controls these massive gold mines. So there is a chance, there is a small realm of a world where Zerton can maybe do something, but he is down a hundred supply to the Chinese and Marine Lord is sitting on a copious amount of resources being extra careful because this is a tournament. So Marine Lord's crossing his I's and dotting his T's. Um, it does look like this, this keep's gonna go up though. Or maybe just not in time. The Shugan are going to have an absolute barbecue if they're able to get over here. And there they go. Absolutely ripping apart. And if this does not go up, that is going to be GG, I believe. If not, it will be very, very soon. These poor villagers, they've not been told to go inside. Maybe Zerton's thinking about that next game. Um, or just what he could have done better this time around. But I think the, the biggest thing is those Shugunu raids. I cannot believe they work so, so well. Here comes the very small force on the front hand side, but Marine Lord putting on a clinic of how to play this matchup. Um, and obviously, even if you didn't um, get those early on raids, it's still super important to just focus on multitasking. We say it all the time, the last um, matchup that we saw with B, um, it's the death by a thousand cuts. If you are the one that can APM your way around, you're gonna be in a very, very good spot. And it's very, very hard for anyone to really deal with those raids, especially in platinum and below, honestly in diamond and below. Um, this is pro level game. This is the top 16 players in the, in the world at the current moment. And even they, we're, we're able to not deal with these raids that well, so it just goes to show you guys that it's super, super important to always be on the offense, even if you're on the defense. I think some of the times the Chinese players, they turtle so much they don't do any damage out and about. So I love this adaptation from Marine Lord to make it so that even a more turtley sieve like the Chinese is able to get early map control and really push their advantages and not go for the death blow. Um, as you see, he only brought one ram out. He didn't really like just try to instantly end it. He was methodical, moved out, and made sure that he was really, really successful in what he wanted to do. We have those emergency repairs going down, and there is the GG's by Zerton. What an absolute game. This was an absolute clinic. I want to show you guys this. I haven't watched it before, but I heard it was a very good example of how to play Chinese into this matchup. So if you need a climb for the next week, definitely use this type of build order. Two TC's, Juganu, do some damage, pull back, then Econ behind that. Um, obviously, if you get rated early on, it's going to be a little bit different, but try your best to achieve that if you are playing the Chinese and prevent it on the other side if you're the HRE player. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please do subscribe and leave a like, and I hope you guys have a great night.